Interesting. Thanks, Pathfinder. Those look horrifying. Dutch will love them. The flag of Tevuni. Let's hear it. Drink of the hour is a lucky leprechaun. Wanna give it a shot? How lucky are we talking here? I forget where the ingredients are from. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Excellent. Free drinks for Pathfinders. I'll make sure of it. There you are. Looking for the meaning of life? At the bottom of a bottle? You wouldn't be the first to try. Alcohol rarely provides answers. Then why are you here? What? I can't kick back? Have fun? Lexi, you haven't touched that bottle. Because you interrupted me. What's this really about? PB thinks I don't care about the crew. That you're all just experiments to me. Do you... Is that how you think I see you? Since when do you care what PB thinks? It's not the first time someone told me that. In fact, every one of my exes said something similar. Hence why I'm taking a break from relationships. So that's the real reason you said no to dinner. It wasn't because I'm not your type. Yes, I mean, no. Don't change the subject. Is that how you think I see you? You wouldn't be moping in this bar if you only saw me as an experiment. I don't mope, but you're right. <sighs> Thank you, Ryder. I should get back. What about your wine? I'll save it for another day. So, oh, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. Oh yeah? What's that? Uh, thrashing you at poker? <laughs> Shall I deal? Ryder, I can read Gil's vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. Do it. The Pathfinder has spoken. Ooh. Were you holding out on me? You're pretty good at this. Don't act so surprised. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know, Jill and Gil. The one you mentioned, part of the initiative? Yep. Been awake since the start. Jill's a fatality expert, heads the initiative CRC. My only real friend from back home. I bet a 50. I call. The CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. Hmm. Sounds kind of disrespectful. It doesn't bother you? Nah, she's like family. Supports me unconditionally. We just ride each other like that. You should meet her. You'll see. She's amazing. Another hundred. He's bluffing. I call. Oof, nice. That one's yours. Well, the winning streak's over. You beat me, Ryder, fair and square. Guess I continue searching for my true purpose in life. It was bound to happen sooner or later. No, no. You're good. I'll have to up my game. Jill's gonna lay into me hard when she hears you won. Nah, I'll just tell her this proves how bad a player she is. Ouch. Have fun. And thanks for the game.
I don't know about these. Whoa, it's the Pathfinder. It's me. You're the one who befriended these strange new people, these Angara. And now they're here, on the Nexus. How do we know we can trust them? I mean, for certain. Remember, we're the strangers. This is their home, and they've welcomed us. They've earned our trust. I guess. Talk to them. Get to know them. See for yourself. Good advice. I will. Hi, this is Jan Garson, founder of the Initiative. I would have thought they'd have more security. We're You're on exploration. You! You're the Pathfinder! Thank you so much for returning the Moshai to us. I'm glad I could help. Seems your people really cherish her. She is dear to us. By the way, you should know. The head of our delegation is at your cultural center. He'd be honored to speak with you. Free for an interview? I'd like to know more about the Angara. It's not often a first contact goes so smoothly. At least the Angara are more peaceful than the Ket. There's high hopes for this alliance. The Angara are survivors, and they're willing to help. They'll be great allies. The Angara soldier who joined your team has a few fans already, but everyone's talking about Aya. Green plants, flowing water? Our leaders have discussed whether we should send colonists there. If the Angara say yes, I don't see why not. I wonder who gets to make that call. The Angara don't have much of a government left. Okay, that's... Look, camera off. I need to say something. I feel like you want to get closer to me than an interview. I think I might. What about you? I want... Oh, this isn't right. It's not ethical to date an interview subject. But once the documentary's done, we could get to know each other better. I could be spoken for by then. I wouldn't interfere with your life. What happens with me stays with me. But if you want to share your heart, I'd like that. Once the documentary's finished. Then I'll be patient. It'll be something to look forward to. Thank you. Just a couple more interviews and let's see what happens. Colonist registration is up since last episode, as is morale. Tan sent this for you. Inspiring, huh? I wonder what my dad would think of all this. Would he have encouraged the move? Come with us if he could? Does dwelling on what ifs help anything? Things are the way they are. I can't just forget my father. Sid doesn't remember anything about him, but I do. I think he might have liked it here. Hey, Pathfinder. I stopped an unauthorized shipment to Kadara. Important stuff. Rations, tools, power cells, you name it. Corresponds with inventory discrepancies. Someone stealing and storing supplies around Nexus and Hyperion for delivery to the Exiles. If you could keep an eye out for suspicious or out-of-place packages, I'd appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. Great. Stolen supplies haven't been processed for release, so Sam should be able to detect them. Hi, I'm Jian Garson, founder of the Initiative. Welcome to the Nexus. We ask that you spend a few short minutes going through uh. the great Hi. <laughs> Gil Brody is your engineer, right? That's right. I'm Bailey. I used to work with him in the hangars here. You wouldn't happen to know if he's... available, would you? Depends on what you mean. His duties keep him pretty busy. No, I mean like a... Oh, never mind. Just, uh, tell him I said hi, huh? And we're happy to help your guards secure their weapons. I prefer them armed, for now. You understand, of course. Oh, Pathfinder, 
This is the head of the Angaran delegation. The one who saved the Moshai. She speaks highly of you. Call me Issa de Navarre. Welcome, Ambassador. The Angara's first formal visit will be one for the history books. I wonder what they'll say. I was just explaining to the Ambassador that armed guards aren't necessary here. Is something wrong, Ambassador? Please walk with me, Pathfinder. So much life. All different, all united. The way it could have been. Seventy-five years ago, we were scattered, struggling to rebuild after the Scourge. Then, the Ket arrived. Alien life. It was... monumental. But then they deceived and enslaved us. So, I hope you understand my precautions. Your people have endured much, Ambassador. I'd be cautious too. Yet all this, your initiative, is proof there's a better way. I want to believe in this Alliance, Pathfinder. The Moshai says you're trustworthy. Please, help me trust in you. Everything you see, we're willing to share. Knowledge, technology, support. What's the price? Whatever you're willing to give. They'll surrender their weapons to your militia, if that's satisfactory. Thank you. We won't disappoint you, Ambassador. Pavoa set Jav Jaravon, Pathfinder. Welcome to Andromeda. Upgrades, of course. Pardon me, Miss. My model of Helios blossoms with data thanks to you. Here, please. You have earned this. The DNA sequencer is free now. Sure glad I went to school for this. Thanks for nothing, education. Hi, I'm Jeanette Garson, founder of the initiative. Welcome, I'm Jeanette Garson, founder of the Pathfinder, thank you for arranging my access to the cultural center. Mm, there's so much to study here. <laughs> ah, it will take a lifetime. There's thousands of years of history before humans even arrive on the scene. That would be a nice full-time job. But you've already got one. Shalom. That is my favorite human greeting. So far. Interesting place, isn't it? Full of smiles and handshakes. Not many soldiers. Even though when politicians make peace, it's we soldiers who keep it. Given our situation, it's smart to show we truly come in friendship. <laughs> Though in these times, you should be prepared for the alternative. But names. I know you, Pathfinder. I am Andrachnon, a Heskarl with the Resistance. A Heskarl? Centuries ago, Heskarl were special forces. We defended colonies, passing our training down via oral history. Few remember us today. I came to learn what the Milky Way knows of such things. I heard your father was part of a similar program, an N7. What have you learned about the N7 program? Human soldiers who trained on exotic worlds. Arcturus, Europa, Rio de Janeiro. 
They learn to fight in all environments, on little food or sleep, to care for their injured, to lead. Is that accurate? Wasn't your father one of them? He was one of the first N7s. He was proud of that, even though he didn't stay in service. Didn't stop him teaching me and my sister a few tricks. So, you carry a little of that knowledge with you, as well as your Pathfinder skills. N7 training would benefit my people. Heskal training would benefit yours. Perhaps a few war games. Show me how your skills handle the tests of a Heskal recruit. Challenge yourself and teach me. A chance to work with the Angaran best of the best? Absolutely. Excellent. I'll activate our training beacons. Finding them can be your first test. After that, I look forward to learning. Tell me about Pathfinders. Pathfinders survey distant worlds and discover promising new outpost sites for the initiative. Our colonization efforts wouldn't be possible without them. If you see a Pathfinder on your travels, be sure to say hello. I'm Jean Garson. Founder of the initiative. On behalf of the Nexus, I welcome you to the Cultural Center. Please have a look around. We hope you'll enjoy learning. These are stolen supplies. I'll alert the dock manager. Another cache of stolen supplies, alerting the dock manager. Oh, I can't wait to go to Aya. Pathfinder, I hear the Angaran planet Aya is a paradise. We finally found a lush world. When do we start moving in? These things take time. There's not much room on Aya, and we're still proving ourselves to them. But we need to find lush planets of our own. For all of us. True. But hey, at least now we know one exists, right? I know you'll do it. Keep up the good work, Pathfinder. Sorry to call you in, but this is best handled discreetly. Talk to me. Short version. One of Harry's med techs snuck a relative on board. Woke them up, cut them loose. Turns out this relative has a rare illness. Not contagious yet, but in the later stages. Does Tan know about this? What? No, absolutely not. Tan's office is an informational sieve. This gets out, we'll have a station-wide panic. Besides, this is a Hyperion matter. My responsibility. That makes it mine too, doesn't it, Captain? Thank you, Ryder. Please keep this to yourself for now. The only way this ends without major losses is if we handle things before the rumors get out. Right. I'll look into it. Good. Talk to Harry. He can brief you on the details. Let's bring this under control before it's too late. Hey, Ryder. Taking a stroll? Something like that? 
I just wandered over from the Nexus myself. That place bores me. Been there, done that? You get me. I spent over a year stuck there. Well, when I wasn't exploring Eos. And I know things are getting better. More lively. But there are too many bad associations. I probably won't hang out there much. Writer, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth, after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated adaptive matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um... My work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we... They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just ask for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a rib canal. <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? That felt so real. Mom was right there. Alive. It was the first time I met Alan. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. Mom was practical. Living in denial wasn't going to solve anything. Yet Alec didn't see it that way. He persisted. Logic goes out the window when your wife is dying. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Let's see it. This memory is of a family gathering on Earth. Finally, the Ryder clan in one room. It feels like it's been years since we were together. Or more. Well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you two. How are you feeling, Mom? No, we're not doing that. There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. Deal? Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? Um... Really? Well, uh... You're both looking... taller. Yeah, Dad, that does tend to happen. Right, right, I know. So, um... I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. I know. They're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the attic in Traverse? It's amazing. We think we might have found a Prothean site. No artifacts yet, but we're still digging. Ah, oh, I remember the day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. We knew for sure that aliens were real. We just had to go find them. Yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay, and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die a little inside. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. What was it like, Dad? When you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. The Garon relay scared the shit out of us. Admiral Grissom included. 
Why don't we go have this dinner your mom's been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. I remember that. Mom complained the Ryder clan was never in the same room at the same time. Odd, considering you were family. That's all you need to know. Dad wasn't much fun to hang around with. The awkward silences could last for hours. Yet you shared a common interest. Yeah, good or bad, your parents rub off on you. A form of symbiosis? Sure, I suppose. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless, the emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Your father's first sidearm. A memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Your father's personal logs. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. Anyway, the right type of implant joined with the right type of AI could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. As a Quarian and Historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the Creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors, and they resented it. Barlebon says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The Council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni. And I've spent several decades researching ancient A few more minutes and we'll take you over to the next. I was 31 years old when I got out of Mars. Another cache of stolen supplies, alerting the dock manager. 